Mg positive plus O negative to obtain MgO and they are linked together by a ionic bond. MgO is a compound which is called the magnesium oxide. Now we can move into the second type of bonds, which is called covalent bond. Covalent bond it occurs between two atoms. Each of them are non-metals by sharing electrons of the outermost energy level. And we have three types of covalent bond. Single covalent bond, double covalent bond, and triple covalent bond. In the first type, single covalent bond, we have two examples. We have two examples. Forming of hydrogen molecule, H2, and forming of water molecule, H2O. <coughs> In hydrogen molecule, we can find that is consisting of two atoms of hydrogen, H and H. Every hydrogen atom, atoms, has one electron in the outermost energy level. They send this electron to another atom to make sharing by one electron to form single covalent bond H, single bond H to get or to obtain H2. In water molecule H2O, this compound consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. As you show in the figure shown, H, single bond O, single bond H, to get HOH, water molecule. And every atom can share by one electron in the single covalent bond. Double covalent bond. An example of oxygen molecule. Oxygen molecule. Oxygen molecule consists of consists of two atoms of oxygen. O, it's atomic number eight. It's electronic configuration two six. This means every oxygen atom contains six electrons in the outermost energy level. Each oxygen atom can send pairs of electron to another atom to make sharing to form double covalent bond O, double bond O to obtain O2. Terrible covalent bond is found in an example of nitrogen molecule N2. Nitrogen molecule consists of two atoms of nitrogen it's atomic number seven. It's electronic configuration two five. And another atom also. It contains five electrons in the outermost energy level. Each atom can send three electrons to another atom to share by each other to form N, triple bond N, to obtain N2. And we have some elements which can't precipitate or which can't participate or which can't share in any chemical reaction. These elements, their physical state are gases, which they are called noble gases or inert gases. Noble gases or inert gases they have some properties to do this function the first of them is helium he24 its electronic configuration k energy level contains the two electron only neon ne its atomic number 10 28 argon AR18, 
288. It's an important note that we can find all the outermost energy levels in all noble gases are saturated or are completely filled with eight electrons except helium except helium and this is why all noble gases can't participate or can't share in any chemical reaction because they are completely they are more stable more stable homework a school book write electronic configuration and mention the type of each atoms magnesium mg12 sulfur s16 argon ar18 thank you goodbye my students